Okay, you guys. So your girl is back. Let me clean this camera off. It looks really, really dirty. Okay, that's a little bit better. So your girl is back. Let me not show my location. Your girl is back. Um, I'm chilling at my OBGYN appointment. And I am waiting for... I'm waiting for... I just took the glucose test. I'm waiting for this drink to like fully get into my system. Me and baby girl, we are just chilling in the car because we have to get our blood work done. So I have about 30 minutes to wait, 45 minutes kind of. I think I'm gonna take a nap. But um, yeah, I'm just chilling, chilling, chilling. I think I will catch up with you guys and let you know how this pregnancy is going. Um, So far this pregnancy, I feel like I just don't wanna be bothered. I just don't wanna be, I don't wanna be, um, I don't want to be bothered by anybody. I don't want anybody to bother me. Just people, interactions. I just, I could minimize on that. And um, it kind of goes in with everything that's going on right now with social distancing. So not to say it plays in my favor, but um, it just goes and coincides with that. But um, yeah, so um, I haven't had any morning sickness. I haven't had any like pregnancy symptoms other than my feet hurting but you know why I, I finally realized why my feet have been hurting um obviously one because i'm gaining weight baby girl is getting nice and plump but number two is because i've been in the house now for so long and i haven't had any shoes on so it's like i'm either walking around barefoot or i'm just walking around in my slippers and um it's not enough support like for my feet since I'm gaining weight so um yeah um it's not too much so I feel like that's going on once again my due date is in August and I'm so excited we have been getting a lot of things from our registry and um I really don't think we're gonna have to buy much maybe we might have to buy like a, um if nobody buys it, the cribs I bed and maybe just a car seat. But those are the typical things that you normally buy. But um, yeah, I've just been um, every week just buying diapers and wipes, alternating between that so we could be stacked up. And I bought her a pair of, um, not a pair, I bought her like a bulk supply of newborn clothes. But the only crazy thing is, it's like, you never know what size or how much they're going to be when they're born um so that's something that i'm taking into consideration i know newborn babies grow so fast gain so much weight in the time like the first two weeks of them being there so um yeah i'm taking all of those factors into consideration and um just thinking about it in that aspect so i bought her probably like i want to say almost like 20 pairs of onesies just the body suits and then the sleeping play and then i even got her a coat um for three months because basically when she's coming it's going to be the ending of summer but also how this summer has been working on the east coast or the warmness or whatever you want to call it it has not been so um yeah you guys it just the weather has been trash here like one day it'll be hot then the rest of the week it'll be cold raining and windy and yeah i'm ready for some consistency and for it to actually get nice and warm Ooh, look at this glow you guys i know you're probably like why does she keep wearing this hat wrap well i don't know if i'm gonna be starting my locks or if i'm just gonna leave here my hair in these twists for now especially since i can't get to the barber shop so this is just gonna have to work okay but um yeah we started the renovations today on our kitchen I'm super duper excited because we actually had water damage because our roof was leaking. Fix the roof issue. Now it's time to get to the inside issue of what was um, 
of the water damage that was caused by it. And thank goodness we're getting to it before it's actually summertime because I feel like even though the leak was already fixed, I just feel like whatever was left up in the wood, it potentially can cause mold with it being humid outside and it being hot, depending on how hot it gets this summer. But yeah, I feel like that's just something we needed to nip in the butt. And then um, pretty much like the last major, not even the last, the next major renovation that we have to do is converting our attic into a master bedroom. It already has a bathroom in there. So um, it's just a matter of taking down the wood panels, sheetrock and everything, and then customizing it to our liking. So um, I'm super duper excited about that. And yeah, back to baby girl back to baby girl she's getting big she weighs like two pounds at this point now um she's constantly moving um moving morning noon night i always saw her moving um i was so cute the other day like i think i felt her hiccuping because it was like consistent rhythms of like the same type of like pattern of movement so i thought that was pretty cute i'm so excited you guys she's gonna be so cute so cute so yeah, the video ended, but I'm just gonna hurry up and stop ranting to you guys. Um, I'll let you guys know when I come back from getting my blood work done, how that goes. Oh, I hate blood work, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass this test. I do not have gestational diabetes, okay? I'm putting that into the world and speaking it into existence. I'll see you guys when I come back, all right? Peace.